Welcome to the Elenium Discography Bracket Tournament. This is super exciting. I've got TKC joining us today, uh, and who is a, I would, I crown the melodic king, honestly. So, uh, <laughs> so we are going to go through the top. We've grabbed all, all sort of with an asterisk, a hundred Elenium songs, and we're going to put them in a bracket format. We're going to listen to 15 second snippets of each song, and we will do a 1v1 until we get to the number one Elenium song of all time. And uh, I'm excited for this. I think this will be great. So pumped. Let's go for it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. The sides. The two sides match up. Here we go. Okay. This is just my weird biases then. Because this this is my favorite song actually off of Fallen Embers. Really? Yeah. That's I don't know I don't know what it is about it, but I, I liked having these side quite a bit. So. It's a nice vocal for sure. Mm-hmm. I think that's what makes it stand out for me is, is it's, it's vocal. So I honestly... I think all things considered, Fallen Embers is my least favorite, and so this being the favorite of that just felt like I don't know. I feel like uh, Fallen Embers is just dead to me now. If this song is gone already, <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no way. Wow, I did not expect that. Really, guys? Interesting. I was gonna say I agree with whatever Mixie is here saying the Zed's Dead collab is the most underrated Lenium song. I love Where the Wild Things Are, especially because I'm a huge Zed's Dead fan too. Mm-hmm. So I am sh- I am shocked that got obliterated. I didn't expect it to be that. I mean, I, I know Drown's a good song, but man, that that's that's a blowout. Here we go. You were right versus Lonely. I think I know how this one's gonna land, and I think I'm gonna be sad. Not gonna lie. Oh, oh goodness! This, oh oh my goodness! God. That's a lot further than I thought it was gonna. Oh be. goodness! I knew Lonely was gonna crush, but like guys. Nice. You were right. It, it, again, in my humble opinion, best song off of Millennium. Best Lonely song off Millennium. Go, look at Lonely having to go through the gauntlet. It's got to go through you, were right? And then it's got to go sideways next round. Wow. Like, that's, a rough, that's a rough matchup. I mean, Lonely's a good track, though. So. Oh, this is the fun one that you were thinking of, of looking at this beforehand. Is this is a fun one. This, this is, is probably my favorite round one play in matchup. Okay, here we go. Starfall versus Shivering. Starfall early lead. Wow. Oh, it's coming back, though. I predicted this one was going to be like 50-50. Yeah, we're close. Oh. Wow. Oh, it is 50-50. Oh, 51 Shivering's coming back. Okay, on these ones, I was wait wait to the one minute mark. I was wait for the one minute mark, potentially. Oh my god, Starfall ties it again. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh, Starfall pulled ahead. (laughs) In the last second. Did it do it? It did in the last second. He got two more votes. Okay, what do you think about this one, kid? Raise my favorite Millennium song. <laughs> <laughs> Just hmm. a wild assumption thing. Frey's gonna win. Right, here we go. Falling in versus I'll be your reason, guys. Oh, do you like I'll be your reason? I love I'll be your reason. Are you serious, dude? Oh. I think that's one of the worst tunes Millennium's ever made. Oh. You're breaking my heart. See, again, this is this is where like the like I don't think it, it holds up as much nowadays, but it like OG was it was pretty solid. We are moving into the round of 64 as we have got the first matchup. Let's see if the number one seed can still this. I'm not gonna lie, of all the brackets I've done, a lot of times the number one seed gets absolutely just booted out immediately because it's just like a popular song and isn't actually loved as much. So uh, we'll see if this one can make it. So here we go. Here's takeaway versus laid down. I think go. with that one seed gone, one seed done, done and dusted. Goodbye. Number one seed, lay it down. You are technically our new number one seed. Pop millennium versus like destructive EDM millennium. Yeah, What's going to take it? I'm curious. Uh, I like feel good. Feel good. Feels like the most vanilla Millennium track, I think. Like it is just yeah. the made for radio plays. It is, and that's why I'm not surprised it's getting absolutely slaughtered right now because it's just, <laughs> it's it's just basic. So yeah, totally fair. I think it, that was one of those ones where when it came out, it was a lot more enjoyable. But like now, it's definitely aged very poorly in my opinion. yeah. I would so agree. Going that super basic. Fallen in will probably be the if it makes it, it'll be the furthest, the highest seed to be in the next round. Yeah, 94 seed making it to the round of 32 would be insane for sure. 94 is the seed, by the way. So technically all the songs, all the numbers actually are the, are the seeds. And so based off of streams on Spotify from top to bottom, it's how they're ranked. It's not a perfect system, but it makes it it makes it work so there's not a bunch of upsets early on. So, yeah. okay. 
It looks like Fallen In is going to make it, though, to the next round, the round of 32, the highest seed to make it in. Okay. Blood versus Fortress. See, this is I'm starting to feel how you felt earlier on is that a lot of my favorites are going to get start start to get knocked out yeah. now. I think. And that your favorites are just going to get beat by actual better songs. So what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Man, dude, blood and losing sucks. I can see it for Fortress, but Gorgeous has had a lot of behind it. But can it get through Needed You? Let's find out. Uh, here yeah. is Gorgeous versus Needed You. Chat lights up when Gorgeous comes on. <laughs> Uh, nope. here we go. Ooh, this, this is your big one. Ray versus Rush over me. Let's do it. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, goodness. Okay, we will definitely wait for the one minute mark on this one. Yeah. Nice. I did not expect that. I did not expect Prey to actually win. Good things fall apart was supposed to win this. I personally yeah. might be my favorite Elenium song. We'll see. But. Uh, okay, That's good cool. things fall apart. We'll win that one indeed. Um, so, have we ever got ourselves a sweet 16? We have got 16 tracks left in the bracket. Let's see what the matchups are. We've got an ascend matchup of Prey versus Good Things Fall Apart. That'll be spicy. All these are going to be spicy now. We've got Lost versus Hearts on Fire. We've got Sad Songs versus Starfall. And over here, we've got Afterlife versus Lonely. We've got Leaving versus Fortress. We've got Reverie versus Crawl Out of Love. And we've got Sound of Walking Away versus Lay It Down. Okay, moving on. Another of these matchups are just going to get tougher and tougher and tougher. This is Crawl Out of Love versus Reverie. Oh, it is dead time. Oh, another one for Reverie. It's 50 50. Oh, we got another 50. As we soon got as got people logging into their all. Oh! Crawl Out of oh, Love! So bad. It came back! Leaving wow. does it and will indeed move on to the Elite Eight. Uh, we've got Lonely versus Afterlife. Here we go. It is tight. Afterlife takes a 55% lead. Oh, this is exactly how I predicted it was going to go. 50 50. Pretty much dead even. Is Ash is really going to wow. go down Are so many of these? Me? It's not over yet. Oh, it's 50-50. Oh! Afterlife's ahead. Afterlife wins by a single vote. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. Only fans, that didn't deserve to be in the Sweet 16. Yikes. The final four. Okay. Afterlife. So one from Ashes and three from Awake are in the wow. are in the Elite Eight. Dang, okay. And is that the last? That's the last Ashes. Afterlife is the last Ashes. Prey versus... Oh, it's your favorite versus my favorite. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> Prey versus good things fall apart. This is personal now. <laughs> Everyone in chat is saying Prey. Not, there's like two people saying good things fall apart. Oh, no. Here we go. Prey versus good things fall apart. Guys, that is just sad. Okay, I'm I'm done we'll look watching this one. Twenty seven percent, really? Only twenty seven percent. We in fact have our elite eight though. We've got eight songs left, eight Elenium tracks left. We've got Prey versus Lost. We've got Starfall versus Gorgeous. We've got Afterlife versus Leaving. Crawl out of love versus Sound of Walking Away. My goodness, these are wow. tough. Woo! I will wait. Oh, Crawl Out of Love's taking one lead. One minute and pull. Crawl Out of Love! Pulls it off. Okay. Uh, Afterlife will win by a long yeah. shot here. And we'll move on to the semifinals. So, I guess that settled is probably the weakest. Yeah. I guess at least in terms of the best songs off Fallen Ember is probably the weakest. Yeah. But. Okay. Gorgeous. A bit of a strong win there. Okay. Some of these elite eights aren't as close as I thought they were. I would agree. I would agree. Yeah. Here we go. Semifinals number one. Crawl out of love versus afterlife. Here we go. I think most people could have predicted that one. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Afterlife will be your finalist number one to go up against yeah. the winner of our next matchup. Let's see what it's going to be though gorgeous and prey we will have an ascend versus ashes finale which one from ascend that was the question so here we go gorgeous and prey 
Is my number one song of all time Bilenium and number two song Bilenium? Wow. Okay, you're really this, in the Sen fan. My side of the bracket here. Okay. It is gorgeous. Wow. Gorgeous Gor- pulls through. Gorgeous pulls through, and we indeed have your finals. Afterlife, gorgeous. Whoo! What a tight, tight finale. Ninety-three votes. What was your final? You predicted. Uh, my final uh, was Afterlife versus Good Things Fall Apart. That was okay. my final. I had Afterlife in my mind. Was Afterlife versus Rush Over Me? Okay. So we are. We are both. Okay. Right now, oh, yeah. look at that! Yeah, thirty-six and sixty-three in the finals. <laughs> the- <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, let's uh, let's head into it. Here we go. The final of the Illenium discography bracket: Afterlife versus Gorgeous. Here we go. Let's go. Woo! Here we go. All right, let's see. This is let's it. Let's see. Afterlife, Gorgeous. Which oh, one we're, are you voting? we're already going back and forth. I I voted Afterlife. Not gonna lie. I so. voted Gorgeous. So okay. We can't see each other out. Okay. Oh, and we are dead oh, tied. Fifty fifty. It's coming down to the wire. This is intense. Let's uh, let's see how many votes we got here on the top here. Oh, this is afterlife by a couple percentage. We might hit a votes. votes. We might. I'm not sure. <laughs> Ninety four and it's fifty fifty. Oh my god. Ninety six fifty one percent for afterlife. 97 votes 99, 99 when votes. it hits one minute when it hits one minute i will end pull 100 oh, votes i think afterlife's gonna take it 101 i'm waiting one minute i'm hitting end pull it's 50 50 though oh i saw the last vote afterlife it's wins afterlife. it <laughs> I wow you. I saw that. it hit 50 50 right as one yeah wow because it was 103 oh, votes it would have been 52 votes to 51 votes for afterlife okay well thank you guys for coming out thank you tkc for joining this was a ton of fun was um, so much fun. absolutely nuts bracket this thing is so big but um, yeah. 100 tracks all down to Afterlife, our final winner. Goodbye. Thank you guys for Peace.